AI is changing your job, even though your job title hasn't changed yet. In 2025, the difference between a thriving analyst versus a forgotten one are these five AI skills. But if you want to stay relevant, valuable, and ahead of the curve, this is what you need to master now. And the last skill might surprise you. Let's talk about the skills that actually can set you apart in 2025. These aren't just nice to have anymore. They're becoming the standard for high-performing analysts. First, it's predictive analytics. Data has always helped us to understand what happened, but the next level is predicting what's going to happen. Think forecasting next month's return, identifying which customer might cancel subscription or predicting inventory level before it spikes up. You don't need to know deep learning models, but you need to know how to spot different trends, how to train simple models or explain what the number actually really means. Second, it's natural language processing. Most business data isn't stored in spreadsheets. It's buried in emails, reviews, chats, survey response. So NLP or natural language processing helps you extract sentiment, identify key topics, turn wall of messy text into a clear insight. Imagine analyzing 10,000 reviews and summarizing what customer really care about. So when a client leaves a one-star review, do you catch a pattern or do you just tag it as a noise? So you can pair it with a dashboard and now you can have clear conversation into a decision. Want to become a data analyst? My analyst accelerator course will just help you do that. In just few days, you'll go from feeling lost in spreadsheets to building clean reports and dashboards with confidence. You learn how to ask questions, work with messy data and explain your work in simple, clear terms. The link is in the description below. If you want to feel confident when someone asks for insight, this course is your starting point. Third, it's generative AI. Generative AI is like your teammate that never gets tired. You can use it to draft SQL code. You can generate visualization. You can summarize results into plain English, or you can explain different complex model outputs. But here's the catch. If your prompt is vague, your result is going to be worse. Fourth, it's prompt engineering. This isn't just about chatting with AI. It's tactical. You need to write clean SQL code from a vague business question, or if you need to understand what the model does and help your manager actually understand, or if you're trying to fix a Python bug without wasting hours, it all comes down to how well do you frame the prompt or question or give the instructions. Crafting clear and layered instructions can get better results and it helps you avoid the trap of garbage in and garbage out. So mastering prompt engineering and AI becomes your most reliable teammate. Fifth, it's AI data visualization. AI can uncover powerful insights but if your stakeholders can understand them, they don't exist. So your job is to turn complex data into prediction confidence, feature importance, and decision boundaries, which tell a visual story that people can trust. Forget about basic charts. It's now about visualizing confidence interval, showing which features drive the result, making risk feel tangible. Good visualization isn't just about design. It's how you build trust in the model and the analyst behind it. AI didn't take your job, it changed it. Your edge isn't knowing everything. It's knowing how to ask faster and clearer questions with AI by your side. Pick one skill, go deep, practice it, apply it. And if you want to fast track your growth and career, you can enroll in my accelerated course, which takes you from a spread shade zero to be a hero the link is in the description below and in the pinned comment